the United Center has played host to the Chicago Bulls and Blackhawks their six titles between the two since 1994. Hundreds of musical acts, pro wrestling, gymnastics, and so much more. Along the way, the building has undergone renovations and upgrades like our atrium, and in 2019, its 25th year, the United Center presented its latest jaw-dropping enhancements, a world-class scoreboard, and fully immersive audio system. Let's go take a look. Wow, I mean, here we are. I'm in the concourse walking in to the 300 level and look at this amazing board. How did we get here? It's really a sight, it's quite incredible. We started the conversation about two years ago, tried to figure out what was important to us, what we think our fans would appreciate, how much we can provide to uh, complement the building. This is what we came up with, so we can't wait to show it off. We've been going through a renovation at the United Center. The scoreboard is kind of the last piece of that. Uh, we started talking with our internal stakeholders, talked about what, what they'd like to see in a scoreboard, what's important. We looked at what the, the other leagues are doing, the other buildings, took that in consideration. We arrived at a, the solution that we have now. Uh, that design for us really spoke to the feel of the building. You go to a lot of other arenas and there's two sides that are very large and then I think you have a tendency to forget the people behind the baskets or, or the goals. I wanted all four video boards to be the same size. I think it was important for us to, to have like this industrial feel so it wasn't this box, right? I think we wanted something that was a little bit artistic. I think what was important to have it to give it a nice nice curve because that's just straight and, uh, and we follow that curve because our arena's like that. In working with Mitsubishi, the United Center team was able to create a one-of-a-kind design that can only be seen here in Chicago. Our process started with the demolition of the old screen after the Blackhawks and Bulls regular season was over. At that point then, other construction uh, took place in the roof system to prepare for our install that started in August. We started really installing the entire board structure itself and finished up right before essentially Labor Day. And we tweaked a little bit in September to get us ready for preseason and, and regular season. We worked about 25 days and a lot of those days were 16 to 20 hour days with our crews working. If you look up in the catwalks, we had to expand the whole hoist system. We wanted to make sure we had to reinforce the roof. Uh, we added so much steel up there during the whole summer prior to the two-week window when the actual board got installed. That's all unique to our arena. The board is specifically custom to us. You're not going to see anything like that anywhere else. At 8,600 square feet, the United Center scoreboard has the largest screen display with the highest resolution technology among all arenas that host both NBA and NHL teams in 2019. The overall size of the screens is, is going to be the main factor. Uh, fans are going to be able to see any any part of the action on the ice from from their seats. Statistics are, are huge. Fans will be better informed from their seats. Other factors of, of things that they see in a normal TV broadcast, now they can see that in arena as well. The bottom ring displays stats for players in the game and the top ring displays stats for players on the bench. So. Our fans now at any point of the game can know how many points, minutes they played, blocks, assists that their favorite player has at any moment. Our previous board, which is a 10 millimeter board, and to what we currently have, which is a four millimeter. And the millimeter is really the, the pitch of the LED, how close it is together. So, you know, 10 would be like that, you know, four millimeter would be a lot tighter. And the tighter the pitch, the, the superior the quality of, of, of the pictures is what you're seeing. We have over 50 million pixels, which is really unheard of. The only board that has that uh, level of clarity uh, and definition, it's, it's just over 8,000 square feet of LED. So you won't find that at any other arena in the United States. Uh, we are the largest arena in North America, so we thought we would have to find a board to match that. Our top ring is seven and a half feet tall. So our old scoreboard, those eight panels we had on the top were seven and a half feet tall. Our video board is, is 18 feet by 34 feet. Our bottom ring is, uh, is nine feet tall. Our aux panels are 26 feet by 20. And that's really exciting for us. Those in the 300 levels to the 100 levels, you will be that much closer to the action thanks to the boards. If you're sitting courtside or on the ice or in the first 10 rows, we have a brand new state-of-the-art inner ring display. We've turned the best seats in the house and made them even better. In the industry, there are a lot of curves 
but this is a compound curve and can continue. So as it goes around the corners, it comes in and tilts down. And no one in the NBA or NHL uh, have built anything like that for a center hung before. It required 18 different custom lighting units as opposed to traditionally you would just have one lighting unit to build a system. So we engineered a system with 18 different lighting units all to come together uh, in a beautiful fashion to make that one of a kind design. The state of the art scoreboard has capabilities of kinetic movement. Why was that important to you guys and how does it set you apart from everybody else in the country? It was extremely important for us just for a couple of reasons. One, we just wanted to be different and a little bit unique than everybody else that's out there. And uh, we have so many events uh, at the United Center besides the Bulls and Blackhawks events. And I think the, the flexibility and the ability to be able to configure the board in, in, in different configurations, I think it was really important to us. And as you can see here, the aux boards that reside in between the video boards are coming down. This is the first kinetic system of this type. Uh, there are 11 different displays but six different hoist. A typical system would have one hoist. So you have a lot of different moving mechanisms and, and that is really, really a first. Each of those aux boards, they can all move independently and be in different, oh, you know, cool. different positions, which is really exciting. Uh, the bottom ring is attached to the video board. So that entire structure is on its own hoist. So that can kind of come down by itself. And our top ring up there is on its own a hoist also, and that can come all the way down to the ground and just kind of go over everything else. We came up with recently a very lightweight design that to our knowledge is the lightest weight uh, indoor LED design on the market that really allowed them to do this, giving their rigging capacity. All the displays uh, weigh about 50,000 pounds in total. Uh, very, very thin cabinets, very lightweight cabinets. Uh, so that's the real story, is not how heavy it is, but how light it is. While the scoreboard is much bigger, the less noticeable thing that fans will definitely get to experience this season is the new audio system. Intelligibility and balance throughout the room were major goals for us. Now it doesn't have to be loud for fans to hear our Bulls DJ's music or to get pumped up by our player video features. It was important for us, for our fans, to be able to clearly understand what our PA announcer and our in-game hosts are saying. Every single word um, is really important when it comes to our promotions and introducing our entertainment. Now, the starting lineup for your Chicago Bulls. I'm blown away. It exceeds my expectations in terms of the impression when you first see it, in terms of how complicated it is, but how simple it looks. Uh, I think it just came together wonderfully from the initial concept that the customer had to the value we were able to bring to the table and integrating that and making it happen and then the end result is just phenomenal. We used as many local subcontractors as any project we put together ever. I think it shows in the quality. It is a truly amazing display. Having new technology, this gives us the tools to enhance the things that we normally do. Uh, and bring us to another level. Obviously technology evolves. We have to evolve with that and, and sometimes try to get ahead of that. And really what, what it comes down to is just taking care of our fans, reinvesting in the building, trying to do something unique, something that's lasting, something that has a legacy. And I think we accomplished that with this new board.